What's up, y'all? How you doing? Night rider here. Getting gas at a closed gas station. Why? Why? Ah. <laughs> that vibrated my crotch. While I'm sitting on my rocket. <laughs> I really did. Anyway, so this video is about watching videos. What do I mean? Before I even rode a motorcycle, I watched uh, a lot of uh, how-to videos, but more, not more importantly, but also a key thing that I did to help me be a safe biker, and I continue to do, to help me be a safe biker and be more cautious and be more mindful and cognizant of the dangers on the road is watch fail videos. I think fails and fights is one of the first ch channels I ever subscribed to. I, th I believe for that very reason. It's been such a long time. But watching motorcycle fails can actually teach you to be a safe driver, safe rider. Because when you see a dozen, a hundred people crash, you really get an idea of the potential dangers of being a motorcycler, <laughs> being a biker, whatever. Um, and I'll put these videos in my description. One of the videos that I re actually two of the videos that I watched that really helped me to learn about the potential dangers of uh, being a motorcycle rider is a series of videos called No Prisoners, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Two separate videos. Each one is about almost an hour and a half long of nothing but crashes. As soon as you turn on, water. It's crashes. Going too slow. As soon as you turn on the video, it's crashing. These are on YouTube, and I'll put the link in my description. But these really give you a sense of all the dangers that are lurking around every corner. The dangers of driving too fast, the dangers of going too slow, the dangers of doing that, doing this. And I would say after really, really watching all the videos, a good 90% of all the crashes on these two videos, no prisoners, volume one, buddy, volume two, are rider error. And that's good because that'll teach you what not to do by watching these people. And if you don't, if you think most of these crashes are not their fault, then you really need to study more because they are. The majority of these crashes are rider error. Not all, but most of them. They could that could have been avoided by using certain safety measures. So what, even if you're a biker already, even if you've been riding for years, this can kind of refresh you and actually further your sense of not fear but reverence for these machines and the dangers out on the streets. Because there have been times when I got too cocky on this thing and I had to scale myself back like, man, I'm getting I'm doing too much right now. I need to calm down. And uh, I, I would go back and I would watch those videos and it, it, would, it would really work. I would like, oh crap, okay. I forgot what I was doing. Let me remind myself. And uh, not only No Prisoners, but Fails and Fights is a great channel. Now he has a, that's a nice Mustang. Ooh. Watching all those videos can really help you. Even, even watching Chase videos. I'm not telling you one from cops, but I mean, 
watching all that stuff and learn what people do wrong and crash can really help you learn not to do it. Where, where the heck am I? Um, our Nicky Mouse has a great channel. He shows people riding on, uh, is it the tail of the dragon, I believe? And when you see people crash, and it's, a, it's like one turn that everybody crashes at. But you get to analyze why that person crashed, what they were doing wrong. Was their body position off? Were they going too fast for the turn? Do they have bad tires on? I mean, just really learning what makes people crash and why can really help you be safer in the streets. I'll, honestly, I think they should play these videos in training classes. They don't. They play some whack video made from in 1990. But if you play these crash videos, these fail videos, and they're all over on YouTube, all over. Just type in motorcycle fail and you'll see a dozen of them. I probably watched almost all of them. A lot of them are recycled videos. Ooh. Yeah, guys. So that's my little piece. Watching fail videos can make you a better biker. It is true. I think that is what contributed to me not crashing for three seasons. I'm not saying I never will. I think that is uh, unrealistic to assume I'll never crash. But my ambition is to never crash. And with that ambition comes the confidence and the resolve to be as safe as possible. So I'm gonna keep that, that wish, that goal, to never crash. Um. <laughs> the funny part is there are people on YouTube who are, whose mouths are watering, sitting waiting for me to crash my bike. <laughs> Oh man, I started on a high boost today. Oh, you're gonna crash. You're gonna crash when they hope he's gonna crash. I bet he's gonna crash. You ever seen that on Friday? Uh, Day Day? He was talking about Craig. He ain't gonna get it. He ain't gonna get it. I hope he don't get it. He better not get it. That's, <laughs> that's, the, that's the essence of hate right there. That is hateration personified in Day Day. <laughs> they were like, uh, he gonna crash. I know you gonna crash. I hope he crash. He better crash. <laughs> oh, they hoping. They wishing. I had a guy said he'll subscribe to me just so he can wait to see me crash. <laughs> hey man, people out there hating. They be hating on Night Rider. Good. Let them hate. I'm gonna keep riding. All right, y'all. That's my little bit. I gotta go take care of business. Y'all have a good night, good day, good morning, whatever it is. Peace out.